All right, I am so excited. I am so excited. But the first thing I want to ask you is why not? In your life, there are tons and tons of things to do, and, and, and we don't do them. Why not? Is it because people say, oh, that's not what you're supposed to do, or that's not how you're supposed to be, or that doesn't go with that? Look, if the peanut butter went into the chocolate, if that never happened, we wouldn't have Reese's peanut butter cups, or we wouldn't have Reese's pieces, or all the other Reese's peanut butter cups go in the big cups. I love the big cup, especially when it's out of the freezer. Sorry. So we're talking about pairing, right? We're talking about pairing cigars with beverages. And I know, I do I do bourbons, I do a lot of bourbons, a little bit of tequila, um, maybe some rums, yeah, I, I, I dabble a little bit, I, I do, Diet Pepsi especially, but people like Eric Gutmerson from Cigar Dojo, Master Sensei, amazing and phenomenal fella, he's amazing, their, their channel is great, their app is great, check them out, but he does wine a lot with cigars, and he kind of turned me on to it, and I got something, I'm so excited about this, I'm so excited about this, because, look at this thing, bam, La Pistolina, right, bam, look at that right there, now, not only do I have this bottle, first person to get to review this thing, by the way, amazing, 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 I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but it came with this little thing thingamadoodle right here, right, it's fancy. I watched I watched a video on how to do it. Well, actually, I didn't watch a video. I watched a movie that had people drinking wine. So, well, gotta have a glass. Okay, we got a glass. That out of the way. It's gonna get hot. All right, so we pull this thing up here. We take and we cut the foil. Hopefully it works. This is the only bottle I got, so if it doesn't work, boy, howdy, I'm in trouble. I am so excited. I am so excited. Man, I am excited. I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I hope it tastes good. This is the La Pistolina Cabernet Sauvignon Tevente Tevente 2, right? It's got the Tevente Tevente 2 right there. Man, I, I could talk about the oak, the, the oak barrels. I could talk about all this other stuff, but I'm not going to because I want to smoke a cigar. I just got off of work. I got on my fancy clothes. These are my fancy clothes, by the way. The hat's been a little bit. Yeah, for me, these are fancy clothes. So we stick the thing in there like that. And we give her a spin. Spinny, spinny. 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 Man, this is... It didn't look this hard on the movie. Get that thing spin up. If this doesn't work, I got a Ryobi drill. We we will not be denied. So we tilt it up like this. Can we push this button here like this? And hopefully. Look at that! Look, look, look! I did it on my boss hill. Oh, that's cool. The cork. Well, the cork, this cork says Stolina. I believe there's a La Pistol in there. Because I couldn't do it right. All right, let's go around some more. Got to wish I knew how to edit so I could just go ahead and take that out. But we'll get in there some more. Get in a little more. Let's pull on it. See. Luckily, they knew who I was before. I made a mess. That's okay. So, I know you're supposed to put a little bit in there. I don't know why. We'll slosh it around. I know you're supposed to get the, the note in the air. You're supposed to get the smell in there. Hang on just a second. Get in. Go on. Go on. I tried to be fancy. I got dressed up. I got the fire. Dogs over there. You sniff it. You put a sniffer on there. Oh, it smells very berry-ish. smells very grape-ish. It has a plumminess to it, actually, to be honest. And the color is, is really pretty. Look at the color in there. That's nice. That's nice. Now I'm 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 hoping it tastes good. 
I'm hoping it doesn't overbear the cigar because I really want this to go well with the cigar that I'm about to talk about too. Oh, you can taste the alcohol in it. You can, and it's got it's got a yes, yeah, cigar May I have the rest? All right. So, I tell you what, it's a big cigar. I understand the science behind it, but it always bothers me that you got the big old glass, you got a big old boy, fill the glass up, but I understand that you don't. You just keep filling the little glass, you leave a wine bottle there, and um, you do that, but I digress. I'm not a wine experienced person. I've had a little wine. Not Some of them had corks. But it has that, it dries your mouth out like grape skins. It has a little, a little bitter bite to it, uh, a woodsy bite to it. It really does. And the finish, I don't know if there's finish on this, but cigars are to finish. The finish is the moment between puffs, and this, I guess, be the moment between gulps, slurps drips, dribbles, whatever. The finish is very fruit forward. There's a lot of plums, maybe hints of raisins. I don't know why I swirled it around. It just felt like the thing to do. I don't know. But something special about this wine right here. It's a trifecta. Don't forget that. Now, I'm going to smoke a cigar. This is a Conspiracy San Andreas. Now, you can get this in San Andreas. You can also get in a lighter wrapper. But I grabbed the San Andreas because I wanted something to be a little bit, a little bit ability to hold up to the strong flavors that I thought this Cabernet Sauvignon 2022 would do. So, number one, we don't need the foot band. Do not smoke the foot band. So... I color coded my cutter, red to red. Look at that thing right there. That Zycar Dual Jet from Quality Importers, mm. right or dual, dual blade. Look, pop that thing open. Cut it V style. Cut a guillotine. You got it good to go. And I got this fancy lighter. Check this thing. Fancy, right? I'm all dressed up and everything. It's got a punch. It's got a draw tool. It's got a big dial on the bottom for checking up down the flame. It's got a fuel window right there. Man, this thing is amazing. And it is called the Pistola. Pistolina, Pistola, Pistolina, Pistola, Pistolina, Pistola. It's a conspiracy. Man, I thought that up all by myself. But this cigar, San Andreas Maduro wrapper, I am looking forward to getting into it. I want something that's a little heavier that I can make sure is gonna handle these flavors and I'm glad because I hadn't tasted that wine before and um, it does have a fullness. I don't think you could do that wine with a Connecticut uh, shade. So this Conspiracy cigar is pretty interesting. All right, we're talking about pairing. So when you think of something lighter, you wanna go with a lighter wine. If you think of something heavier you want to go with a heavier one or you can do whatever you want right why not try it you might like it it might add flavors or it might mute some flavors for you either way it's your way and that's a great way today but anyway the conspiracy this cigar is good this cigar is not made from your traditional Cigar manufacturer. God, that smoke. That's interesting. Sorry. I'll get back to that in just a second. Flavor comes first. That's hot. It's pretty. But it's hot in South Carolina. Gee, got him. So, this cigar 
is not from your traditional cigar manufacturer. This cigar comes from quality importers. Just like the cutter, just like the lighter, and guess what? Just like the wine. That's right, they are diversified because they want you to have the whole smoking experience. You get a stinky ashtray. Wish I had one, I would have thought about it. Then you, I mean, you got everything you need except for the mouth to smoke it and drink it. I mean, and to hold it. But, God, the, the peppery. This is neat because the finish on this hangs around. The finish on this doesn't. So, you get this, this tidal wave of flavor. The plums, the raisins, a little bit of, 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 of dryness. The, a little bit of the, of the bitterness, which is a good thing. And that first swallow, it, it, it kind of slowly starts to fade. And when you smoke the cigar, that first puff behind it, it really turns it into less. But as you're smoking, it actually just hangs around. Those plums, there's a, there's a, there's a brightness to it. There's a, a ting to it. The word escapes me. But here's the thing about the conspiracy cigar. Quality Importers is a accessory company, gear company, right? All your lighter needs, all your cutter needs, all your all your ashtray needs, your humidor needs, your all those needs, you can get that all in-house at Quality Importers. You can. And you can get great, great stuff, but they wanted to extend the experience. They wanted to get a little bit deeper into the lifestyle. Not only provide you with things to give you a good moment, but give you all the things you need for a good moment. And they jumped into the 2022 Cabernet Sauvignon, La Pistolina. And I'm telling you, it's not too bad. Cork needs a little work, or the uncorker needs a little work. And the cigar is really good, but this cigar is kind of interesting. I've said that like six times. It tastes good. That's a good thing. It's burning well. The smoke is, is full, and I'm fighting myself for not taking a big puff and blowing it into the into the glass. I'm going to tell you that because I just want to see what that smokiness is when I put my nose in there and I drink it. I wonder what. Now, it might screw me up, and I might cough, and and, and, and more, great, more wine is going to go all over everything, and I'm going to get in trouble with the first lady because I done messed up the table. But... When you buy the cigar, if you go into your local lounge, who carries it, and you buy the cigar, you get a cutter for free. A basic cutter, an event cutter. You buy a five pack, you're going to get maybe a, a small five count Trevador. You buy a box, you're going to get more swag and get more swag and more swag. So you are going, or gear, not really swag. But it's going to be branded gear, branded cutters, branded lighters, branded travadors, branded all this stuff. It's just going to get better and better and better as you buy. So it's almost like you're buying the cutter, getting the cigar free. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. How? Because when I found out, when I found out that Quality Importers was going to make a cigar, when they were going to have a cigar made, I should say. I was like, hmm, how is that going to work? I, I, just, I just can't see the, the metric on that. I can't see the lane, right? Stay in your lane, right? And the fact that they took that and ran that around and turned it into a, you get gear when you get a cigar, I'm like, that's brilliant. I saw it on the PCA floor. Uh, one got handed to me. I smoked it, and I smoked it all the way back. I did. I like it a lot. Now, the band is big. That band is huge. The secondary and a tertiary band, the band was at the foot. 
um, the points meet and everything else. It's 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 very well crafted with lots of design and lots of, of stuff. I don't know what the conspiracy is, but I know what the smoke is, and the smoke is good. And this Mexican San Andreas is great, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to blow smoke into that. I am. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but look at that. Is that not cool? Look at that. That's just that's just crazy. You sitting there at a lounge, you sitting there at your back porch, and you blow that in there, boy. How did that just turn to uh, whatever dollar into a double dollar, right? But now I'm going to try to drink it without blowing it out my face. So be prepared. That's something. All the flavors are there. But they're a little muted. All the high notes. There's a lot of high notes in this wine. It, ping, 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 ping. Lots of sparklies in this wine. And, and they just kind of got turned down just a little bit. They got dimmed just a little bit. But they're still all there and they're still, they're still all present and they're, they make sense. But I'm lazy. I am. I was going to go in the shop and I was going to set up for another shot. I was going to tell you a story. I was going to take my shirt off, just wear my beater shirt, put on my hat. I can do my hat easy enough. And just be, you know, regular old BTCG because wine is approachable. If, if, if you're not smoking wine because, or you're not smoking, if you're not smoking, I smoke wine. If you're not drinking wine because it's not what your lane of people do, no, you are your lane of people. Why not? Why not try it? Why not give it a shot? And, and so, you know, you don't have to dress up. You don't. Put in a tumbler if you want. And here's where the story comes into play, because there's a story. Luckily, I've screwed up enough that none of the wine aficionados are still here, because they would have plotsed. Get in, go on. Go on. He's going to knock on my tripod. Stupid dog. Look at that right there. Oh, that's nice. That's how you... Sorry, that's how you fill a glass. Right there. That's how you fill a glass. Look at that right there, a little BTCG, right? Friend of mine, Luis Sosa, made that for me years ago. Oh, it's, I don't know if I'm supposed to sip it. I want to just drink it. Oh, it's good. Very, very fruit forward. Anyway, anyway, I digress. Why did I put it in a cup? Why did I put it in a cup? Because I'm a goober, that's why. No, I am a goober. But there's a story, right? I got a little press release paper. Cool press release paper, right? That's a logo up there. Look at that logo. Isn't that logo? It's cool as all get out. By the way, in the comments or in the description of the video, I'm gonna put how to how to get a hold of this with the with the, the bad three W's and that round punctuation. If I say it on here because it's part of ATF, alcohol, tobacco and farms. They say that is not allowed, blah, 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 blah. But I can put in the comment, I just want to put the, the, the three bed doubles and a and little punctuation. Senior Wences, right? Y'all don't know about that. I know about that. Side eye, side eye. All right, so the story, right? It talks about a bunch of stuff. We're going to be quick because I, I don't want to waste your time. But I'm excited and I'm a little, a little giddy. That's good. It's better than I thought it would be. 
as far as with the it's better than I thought it would be with the cigar. All right, it is a very full wine. For me, when we do wine, it's Christmas, it's Thanksgiving, it's Easter, it's it's a, a fancy dinner. We're about to go on a cruise. We'll have wine with the cruise. I want a table wine. I want something that's 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 full berries. I want something that's that's substantial, that's beefy, that's meaty, that that'll that'll grab a hold of you, let you know you drink wine. I don't want this light, wispy, bubbly thing, which I, I do sometimes. Um, but if I'm having a dinner or something like that, this will go well with a steak. This will go well with a full cigar, right? La Pistolina has other blends as well, right? And I don't have those, but I have this, so I'm telling you about it. The 2022 Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, it talks about the aroma. It talks about the taste. Well, I just told you what it tastes like. So I'm going to talk about that. Let's talk about the vintage real quick. 2022 delivered some unexpected surprises with heat that hastened the harvest. Grapes harvested before and after the heat wave have been meticulously chosen to create this vintage. The second release of La Pistolina Cabernet Sauvignon wine is sure to continue the legacy and maintain the bar that was set in 2016. I like to say Sauvignon. It just feels fancy. I'm going to put my pinky up, right? But what does that mean to me? I don't know. I know it's like tobacco. Um, I know tobacco. I, okay. I know of tobacco. In tobacco, if you have too wet of a season, your tobacco might not have as much flavor. If you have too dry of a season, it'll be a little pepperier. It'll be a little bit this and that. If you have hail, you have trouble. Um, so weather does things. Tobacco is just like, just like it, it's parallel with wine and vintages sometimes. Master Blender's hardest job is to make sure that this year's cigar tastes exactly like last year's cigar tastes exactly like the cigar from 10 years ago to maintain the integrity of the blend. And wine is a little different because each one can be a little different with a different signature. And this has a great signature penmanship performance excellence, right? So the story, and this is why I did the glass, not just because I'm a guru. How big of a swallow are you supposed to take? I took a big swallow. I'm kind of worried that my lips are going to turn purple like I got lipstick on, but it's worth it. So I'm going to give it a shot. All right, so here's the glass. From as early on, I hope I don't burn the paper. As early on, I can remember, as early as I, as, yeah. From as early as I can remember, usually with a glass of wine in his hand, you know the kind that you typically drink water from? Water glass. You up. I tied it all together. See, I'm not as goofy as I as, as I am. We used to hear our grandfather, my grandfather, we call me Big Daddy, but we used to hear our grandfather talk about when he came to the USA from Saviano, Italy, a small suburb of Napoli, and talk about how hard it was to assimilate on the streets with others who arrived before the Italians did. So grandpas, if you don't know, like to tell stories, like to tell lots of stories like to just talk your ear off. I know I do. I know you wouldn't believe that because I hardly ever talk on video. So good. So good. So good. It so matches. The berries really accentuate the, um, the wand. It really does. The berries really accentuate the wine. This is going to be a fun video. The berries accentuate the cigar. That wine forward flavor. The wine really accentuates the cigar. The berry forward flavor. If I could edit, this would be in the blue corner. So. In these stories, he often talked about La Pistolina, the little gun that he found one day rummaging through a dumpster. And although we never heard details from him actually using it and we didn't dare ask, we also he always got the sense that it somehow kept him out of trouble. La Pistolina wine pays homage to him, his stories, and sense of humor. Pretty nice. Stories are great. I build my channel around stories. I enjoy reading stories on the different blends and the different cigars. I do. I do. As long as they don't get 
stupid crazy about the tobacco on the uh, tastes like the Himalayan salt on the west side of the the Andes Mountains where the goat peed and this I mean let's not get crazy but I do enjoy stories but the proof is in the pudding the proof is in the puffing and the truth proof is in the sipping and this proof is number one I'll do a review for this later this conspiracy San Andreas Maduro has that black pepper quality to it, but it's a little bit muted. Um, it has a little bit of leather, a little bit of cocoa, espresso notes. It's got some some bitterness to it, which is a good thing to me. Um, a dryness on its own in singularity. This right here. Boy, howdy, I've been working. This... I'm glad my house is right there. Are you driving? Don't worry. So, this has such great berry quality to it. If you're looking for something that is very muted, very basic, very... doesn't really take the center stage... If you want something like like that, that's on the on the the mellow side, this is not it. If you want something that's got a fullness to it, that that has a life to it, that has a I'm here, pay attention to me because I'm not going anywhere. This will be something you want to grab a hold of. It is. I'm glad. I am glad. I was worried about it. I am glad my hands get hot. I am glad that it is not grape forward. I'm not a grape guy. I don't like grape juice. I don't like grape Kool-Aid. I don't like grape, grape pops, right? It's just not my flavor. I've never liked it. And so I was hoping that this wasn't a grape forward flavor, but it's not a grape forward flavor because it really pulls out plums and I'm pulling out cranberries. I'm pulling out that dryness, which I love in a wine. I want it to dry my mouth out like grape skins. I really, really do like grape skins. You ever had grapes as a kid, and you're sitting there, especially the red ones, and you just kind of peel them with your teeth because you ain't got a lot of grapes, and you just want to feel like you're doing something for a while. You peel them with your teeth, and you eat them, and your tongue gets dry, and your mouth gets dry. That's, that's what I'm talking about. It just dries out your mouth. And, and, and I know it's the tannins. I know it's the tannins, but... It really lends to a quality moment. From the cigar, to the wine, to the cutters, to the lighters, to the ashtrays. You can have all of it in just one house. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So, I'm gonna go before I keep. I keep telling stories, and um, so check out the description in the video, and you're gonna get your information on the La Pistolina and how to get some. I highly recommend you do. If you do, leave me a comment. Tell me what your experiences was in pairing. If you pair cigars with beverages intentionally, leave me a comment and tell me what you pair with it as well because I would love to know. That would be interesting just to kind of expand my palate. And if you don't drink wine, my question is why not? If you don't drink wine because you don't like it, good deal. But if you don't drink wine because it's not your lane, it's not what you're supposed to do, it's not what this guy is supposed to do or whatever, fooey. Give it a try, enjoy it, or not, but at least try it, and then you'll know. I can't leave a bottle half empty. I'm going to sit here and work on it for a while, and then I think I'll do it off camera. So, I will see you later. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Quality importers for all your cutters, letters, ashtrays, travadors, wine, and cigar needs.
they got it all. Except for a mouth to smoke it and a hand to hold it. You supply that. And I'll see you later. Man, I love you. Have a great day. Later, Tater.